guys and welcome back. It's Sean okay, aka Little Bit Sunshine. Hoping to find a pure date no matter what the weather. And today I am back with my once a year video which is what I got for Christmas. Uh, I did this last year and I really enjoyed doing it so I said I'd do it again this year. I have not told anybody what I got off Sandy. And this video would have been up yesterday but I was in work. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But, I'm gonna use the usual YouTuber disclaimer. I'm not making this video to brag or show off what I got. It's just... I personally think that, you know, seeing what somebody got for Christmas really shows who they are as a person and what kind of things interest them and that's why I think they're interesting videos. I don't ever see them as braggy unless like the person's getting like all Gucci and a Ferrari or something like that. But like normal everyday people, I think doing it, it's not braggy, it's more just showing what they got and you know, it's, it's part of the fun I guess. You know, so I'm going to start with talking about the, the sections I have set this up into, right? Basically, every year I guess now that I'm older, my gifts come in like three different categories. And it's like beauty and toiletries, food and clothes. And that's the way I've organized it this year to like show you guys. So I'm gonna start with beauty and toiletries because the one thing, my mom asked me what I wanted and the one thing I did say I wanted this year was lip gloss. And I don't mean like a little two-year lip gloss. I said I never really treat myself to like expensive lip glosses. So I really like a good lip gloss. As in like a good matted, um, f bougie, fancy kind of lip gloss. That's all I wanted. That's all I put on my list and said I had to be red. That was all I said. And she got me two. So she got me the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, lipstick by Kat Devon. Um, she got me two colours actually. She got me the Santa Sangre, Sangre, I'm gonna say, which is the one I have on my lips right now. And the other one she got me was Outlaw, which is just a little bit of a darker shade compared to the Santa Sangre. Um, but yeah, I was like super delighted she got me two. I only asked her for one, and as I say, that's all I wanted. I'll do a bit of a swatch for Oh, yeah, we're gonna make a play room this channel for 2019, but then I'll tell you. Um, so there is Outlaw. That hung up on the screen, but it, they kind of look like the exact same to me. But maybe that's just because they're really new and I'm just like super hyper about owning them because, like, these are literally like 20 quid and I usually spend like 2 euro on lip glosses or like 5 quid pushing it. So to own lip glosses like this, like, super scares me. <laughs> and there is the Santa one, so it's a little bit of a brighter red, it's more Christmassy, I guess. And but I love a bright red lip now. When I was younger, I was always afraid to wear a bright red lip. I was always told it wouldn't suit me. So now that I'm older and I think it does suit me, um, I wear it. So the next makeup I got was this palette. It's an Urban Decay palette. I think this is really funny. I bought one of these for my friends for Christmas. And I came home and showed my mum. I was like, how beautiful is this palette? And uh, she went out and bought it for me because I love so love it. I love like the beach theme because you know one of my ultimate goals is to at least live in Puerto Rico for like a year. So like beach, tropical, anything like that I love. And they are the colours. I just think they're really pretty and like oh I don't know, I'm just in love with them. You can judge for yourself, but I just think they're really fabulous. And I love Urban Decay makeup because well one it's cruelty fair vegan, which obviously I'm cool with. They're always super pigmented and they're super high quality and super good, so that's why I love them. Same with the Cat Devon, this is my first time owning more like stuff, but you can already tell that like they're super high quality and super good. And it's like the lip gloss isn't drying out my lips the way the other lip glosses I used to use did, so that's what I'm kind of loving about it. The next little bits of pieces I got was from a newer brand, and um, I found them in Boots. And um, when I googled them, they said they were cruelty free and I read through the ingredients and couldn't see anything that wasn't vegan so it was kind of like a, I don't know, I might be wrong on this but I'm going to go with that I'm not. <laughs> and it's this CYO uh, mascara, uh, all in one waterproof mascara. I just needed a new mascara, I always need a new mascara. I can never find mascara I love so I'm, like, I'm going to try this one out and see how I feel about it. Um, I got this semi permanent eyeliner by the same brand. and. It's like a lipstick and lip liner and a nice burgundy colour, so that's what I got in the background. Um, she then got me this Escada Turquoise Summer um, Perfume. I, I've never asked her for it, I have no idea um, what it even smells like. It's still in the packaging, so I have no idea what it even smells like. But I'd say it's nice on my mum. I'd say she smelled it before she bought it. So, yeah. The next 
anything. She uh, like she after I said I wanted the lift off, she asked me was there anything else I wanted, and I was really really like down to earth and said, will you get me a shampoo bar and a conditioner bar from Lush? <laughs> um, so that's what she got me. She even got me the little tins that um, they come in. Like I didn't buy the tins when I bought them. I've been keeping them in lunch boxes, but mine ran out like two weeks ago and I've been using normal shampoo and it's just not the same. So she got me this red, I think this is the shampoo bar. She doesn't know. I'm gonna have to check the website and actually try and understand which one's which. But it smells really, really nice and it's like, Somewhat Christmassy, so I kind of love that one. And then for the conditioner bar, she bought me a green one. So if you are a Lush fan, you actually know um, which ones are which. Um, let me know down in the comments. This smells more like sea and like top and the uh, Like this, it smells like sea. Like it, it smells real mermaid or something. So I'm gonna I'm, go, I'm gonna guess this one's a conditioner and this one, the other ones are shampoo based on their colour, their consistency, and their shape. But um, I could be wrong because when she handed them to me, she said, I'm pretty sure the green one's a shampoo. So, guess we'll find out in a couple of weeks. And the next thing she got me were the Moi shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's something I've been looking at for ages. They are very expensive shampoos and conditioners. These are like 11 or 12 euro a bottle. So, I never like treat myself to them. Um, but I have wanted to try them for ages because they are vegan and they are cruelty free so that is why I've wanted to try them so she got me the shampoo and the conditioner for to take in and restore, restore weak and brittle hair and when, when we talked about that more I was like I really don't need to take in my hair <laughs> but, <laughs> and the flavour is bamboo fibres which um, doesn't exactly smell, uh, doesn't exactly sound very intriguing but uh, it smells really good so yeah and to match that she got me their agave um, hair mask for chemically damaged hair which this is definitely more fitting for my hair because I dye my own hair and it's definitely chemically damaged and that's my own fault <laughs> she also bought me this which isn't cruelty free and I know it's not cruelty free but <laughs> she knows it's not cruelty free too I do love this brand and I really love this spray and I, f I found it really hard to replace it so um, she just said look I bought it so you haven't contributed to any animal cruelty and I was like that's a bad loophole and we both know it but um, I love this stuff so much and um, it's great for long take care and you know put so much good condition in my hair so um, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it um, the next thing she got me was she basically was telling me that I smell and bought me four bottles of my favourite deodorant which is the soft and gentle which are vegan and cruelty free and she got me the wild rose and vanilla flavour and the orchid and passion fruit flavour and the jasmine and coconut oil flavour coconut milk flavour sorry and the orchid and passion flavour I already said that didn't you there yeah she got me two of the purple ones um, I always use them I'm trying to get away from <laughs> spray deodorant at the minute but uh, it's it's a hard transition for me. Um, I've been using the pit and putty um, tins, like deodorant balm kind of thing, and it's just it's good and all, but it's not it's not as good as this stuff. And it, I I can feel the difference. Then all the next stuff she got me was from little little own brand stuff. Is all cruelty free, and a lot of it is actually vegan, as much as people don't really advertise that. Um, I emailed them before about the cruelty freeness of their products and they stated that it was cruelty free so I'm like okay I'll trust you on that one because it's a big supermarket and they can't really afford to make false claims like that and um, so I got three of their shampoos two in the raspberry flavour and one in the apple and um, this is one I use quite often to be honest people always ask me like what shampoo and conditioner I use this is honestly the shampoo and conditioner I use um, three of the conditioners same like flavours and um, it's literally only like one euro or something for the shampoo and conditioner and it's honestly one of the best shampoos and conditioners I've ever used it puts a lot of shine into my hair it puts a <coughs> sorry it puts like it, it's just good shampoo and conditioner and it does the job a lot better than some of the dearer ones that I've used um, so that's why I that's why I like to go to when I don't have a shampoo bar or I don't have like expensive bougie shampoo I got some of their facial wipes just because even though I try not to use facial wipes sometimes you have to use facial wipes so that's why I have them she got me some Dove 
soap because Dove have actually Dove have actually changed it away, isn't it? Oh my god, why is the Dove shampoo with soap not staying in my head? But the Dove have the Dove. Dove have changed their um policy and they're gone cruelty free and I wanted to support that so that's why she got me that. I was really excited about Dove gone cruelty free by the way. Um she got me these like roll on deodorants as well. Just I like these for the gym just to throw on my gym bag because they're smaller than a big bottle of deodorant and I like to carry as little as possible when I go to the gym. So that's why she got them. She got me some facial wash, some refreshing and some moisturising because one of my goals for 2019 is to improve my skin and just actually take care of it for once. And then a pack of men's razors. These are actually the razors I use all the time. Um, they have no wax strip in them, which a lot of all, like more expensive razors do. So this is why I use the men's little razor. So that's all my beautiful stuff. And then she gave them like all my stuff to me in these like beautiful baskets, which are gonna be so amazing for storage because another thing I plan to do in 2019 is sort out my room once and for all. I'm always reorganising my room and it's it's getting to the point where I just can't even move at the minute. So reorganisation is happening. I'm donating so much stuff, like getting rid of stuff that I've had for years and I don't need anymore. There's so much happening to my room. And I will show that to you and share that with you guys because I really do. I want to share the progress of my room and what's going to happen with it. So I'm going to clear all this up and then start on section two, which is food. Okay, so the food part. Um, this is probably my favourite part because I love my food. Um, she basically filled another basket up of sweets and all that jazz because obviously my diet is different and I don't get selection boxes. So I'm going to start out with, with what is probably my favourite thing to get every Christmas which is the Oldfield fruit jelly. These were my granddad's favourite jellies when I was gone. I grew up living in my nanny and granddad's house. So Christmas for me always like it was sharing these sweets with my granddad and obviously my granddad passed a few years ago. It's a tradition I like to keep up on, so I always get a box. This year she actually got me two boxes um, of the fruit jellies. I don't know why, but she did, and I just I love this. It's a bit like just it just brings back so many good happy memories that I just love getting them every year. And um, the next thing she got me, I guess, isn't really sweet, and it's really unusual for me because I actually don't drink. Um, I haven't had a drink in nearly two years, but she got me the almond Baileys, which is the vegan version of Baileys. Um, so yeah, <laughs> should I do my first drink in two years video? Would you guys be interested to see that? That would not be a fun video. Um, she also got me a packet of candy kittens. Um, I say she a lot in this video. I know my mum buys the things like Paul will contribute money towards it as such, but I know my mum goes out and buys them. So this is from my mum and Paul. I should really say that more, shouldn't I? Um, she got me this strawberry candy kittens. Candy kittens are a vegan and gluten free brand. So, well, mostly vegan and mostly gluten free. Um, some of our stuff is not, but these ones are. She got me these sweets called Ruffles. And these are like, um, they're basically like what you get in celebrations and heroes and all them kind of things, like wrapped sweets. I don't know what you call them, like little chocolate sweets. Um, but these ones are raspberry and these ones are peppermint, I think. Yeah, peppermint and both with coconut, so they're really nice. Um, I bought a packet of them for myself, so I know what she tastes like. She also got me the Just Chocolate Delicious Dark and Smooth Chocolate Mints. I've never had these before. I'm, I'm usually not a big fan of the Kinnerton brand, but um, I've heard these are really, really nice, so I'm like, she bought them for me, so I guess I'm going to give them a go. <laughs> She got me these crisps from Lidl. I love these little potato snacks. I could eat them all day, every day, and some days I do, so that's why she got me two back of the day. I'm kind of a joke, I think. I think it was a joke. It probably wasn't, to be fair. Um, she got me two packets of jelly tots because I love jelly tots, and again, they're vegan. And she got me a proper packet of them too because, like, I have, an, I have a problem when it comes to jelly tots. And then she got me some sweet heat skittles, I've never seen these before. Some regular skittles, some sour skittles, and then a box of skittles too, because you can never have enough skittles, I guess. <laughs> also vegan, so that's probably why, like, any of the vegan my mom will play on big time. She's like, oh, that's vegan, I'll get you that. She gets very excited. And then, 
she bought these in Puerto Rico before for me and she bought them one year, gosh it must be two years ago now and I really liked them, they're like really small dark chocolate bars of dark chocolate and I just think they're very good. When I was trying to lose weight I found them super helpful to kind of limit myself to just having the little bar of dark chocolate just by having one or sometimes two when I was like first getting there. So now every time she goes away she brings me home like two, three, four packets of them. Um, but she brought extra home this year and hid them up for me so I have two extra packets now to start me in the new year. Um, but these are really good for getting control on chocolate. Like I used to eat three or four chocolate bars a day, like Cadbury's or something like that. So like bringing myself down to only eating like one of these a day. And now I don't even eat like one piece of dark chocolate a day. I might eat like one every two or three days. So and then that's not to say I'm like inhumane and I, I, I don't enjoy chocolate. Um, there is days I will sit down and have two or three chocolate bars still. But not as much as I used to when I was younger. So that's why these came in super helpful, I think for losing weight and all that jazz. That's, an, that's another video for another day. Now, onto my clothes. Oh wait, no, I have a slight like subsection, subcategory, is that the word I'm gonna use? Um, one that basically doesn't fit into the dark three categories, which is books and notebooks. So my mom got me this uh, recipe, my recipe book. So basically you fill it in yourself with like all your own recipes. I've said for ages that I'm gonna write a cookbook and I always do say, I genuinely, I do intend to one day have a gluten free vegan cookbook uh, just when time actually gives me the chance to do it so this is, this was kind of like her like saying go do it as such and then Joe Wicks brought out a veggie book, a veggie cooking 15 his books are, I, I always loved his books before being vegan so um, when I saw he was bringing out a veggie one I was really excited because there is a fair few vegan recipes in it but on top of that Veggie stuff is very easy to veganise, you know, if it has honey, you just put agave in, if it has egg, you can either mix it with tofu, or if it's bacon, you can just put a flax egg, or if it's cheese, there's vegan cheese. Like, that was, to me, it was like, right, that's really simple to replace, that's a good one for me to get. So that's why she, she got me this one. I actually, like, basically picked out, bought myself on Amazon and told her she owned me a tenner. So, <laughs> I got on Black Friday on free order, so she's, like, it probably should be like 25 euro or something like that, but we got it for like 12 euro, so yay, saving my mummy the bargain. But every year she gets me a pair of runners, so she asked me to pick out a pair of runners this year, and I usually go for night, like that's usually my like go to runner. But this year I wanted something a little bit different, so I picked out these under armors just because they were really light in the shop, and I really liked how light they were. Um, I like the light runner for when I'm in the gym and these were a really nice colour and they're really different to what I usually buy and that's what I like about them. So that is why we went with we went, I went with them. Um, she basically brings me shopping where, where pays for it and then puts it up until Christmas. That's like the majority of this I knew about um, and it'll always probably be that way. So next onto the clothes. Um, well this technically isn't clothes I guess, it's more of an accessory. She got me this like drawstring, obviously fake leather bag. Um, I don't. <laughs> it's definitely different, and I kind of like the fact that it's different. Um, I used to love drawstring bags when I was a kid. I like a handbag I can put on my back, so I guess she kind of like got all in one in this. <laughs> I've never seen anything like. Well, I've seen like a, like some things like it, but I've never seen one like this, and I just it's very unusual, and I kind of love it for that. So um, yeah, that was her first um. That was like the first thing I opened on Christmas as well and I was really confused by The so next she got me some PJs. These are like just a nice pair of pink simple PJs. I never buy myself pajamas so my mum takes it upon herself to buy me pajamas so I have pajamas. Um, but these are made with sustainable cotton which I really like. So yeah. And they feel really nice. I like to like pajamas over like fluffy pajamas but she did get me a pair of fluffy pajamas too. And they say, um, I'm basically a unicorn that has that, that like whale thing that has the, the horn, is it called a war or something like that? Yeah, I, I, I know what I'm on about, but you guys might not know what I'm on about. They're really cute and they're like little animal thingy, it's all over the buttons and they're just really pretty and cute and yeah, I love them. <laughs> and then the next pair of pajamas she got me say, sleep under the stars and they're just like a nice navy pair of pajamas and there's like stars all on the bottom of it but they're like really cute they're like they're like proper stars with all the little connections and all that kind of stuff the dots too i don't know 
you know the like actual like star signs and things like that so that's why I love them um, is it appropriate to show bras that I got for Christmas? ah we do everything on this channel so <laughs> she got me bras because I always need new bras um, especially after losing weight all my bras are like literally flying off me at the minute so I've like gone down the size in my bras just to like see if that will work um, it probably won't so I'll probably have to go down like four more sizes um, and then she got me this like nice burgundy little um, underwear set I guess she also got me these buttons for the gym they're like really really nice I don't like the silky feel ones and these aren't the silky feel ones they're more like a cottony feel to them but they look like the silky ones so for that reason I was like oh I love them um, they're really cute like the design on the sides of them is kind of really pretty and they, fit, they look and feel really comfortable so I can't wait to try them on and wear them in the gym speaking of the gym wouldn't it be Christmas without me getting sports bras for Christmas because as everyone knows I love the gym so she got me these two bra set um, two sports bras kit set as well I swear like when people ask me what I'm getting for Christmas I'm literally like bras and they didn't believe me so there you go um, we also got some of these t-shirts these were reduced to one euro when I was in pennies water one day and uh, she picked me up like a yellow one and a pink one I think that was it wasn't it yeah, a yellow one and a pink one because they were reduced to a euro and they were in my size. But they're really handy for going to the gym or just like actually lounging around the house or you know, if I'm cleaning or anything like that. It's always great to get t-shirts for one euro, you really do anymore. Um, she got me this skirt, it's like corduroy skirt with buttons. I have it unbuttoned because I was trying it on the other night. Um, it's really, really nice on and it's so cute so I'm so excited about that because I don't own a lot of skirts and I want to change that this year. I want to get more skirts because I think the skirts really suit me. So that's why we have that. This was also on the reduced rack that I went in with. Um, it was reduced from 8 euro to 3 euro. So we got this as well. It's just a bodysuit that like has a plunge kind of thing on it. And I love bodysuits so that's why we got that. Um, she got me this t-shirt saying not a morning person because I am not. Oh, oh no, I'm not made for morning, sorry. Um, because that is the most me t-shirt you could ever get. I am not made for the morning. And then just a basic white tee because I need new white tees. And I think she got me some black ones too. Yeah, I needed some black ones for work underneath my little tunic. So she got me some black ones. And then some leggings because I always need new leggings because leggings are my life. And so she got me two pairs of leggings and another, oh this is a proper black t-shirt so like a black t-shirt that has sleeves in it rather than just the vest one. And then the last thing from my mum and Paul was this rain jacket and I have a jacket for the winter, like a rain jacket for the winter and I have like other jackets as well for winter. But when it comes to spring, I never have a jacket, so she decided to change that this year and got me this lovely little spring jacket. Um, it's really pretty though, I really like it and I can't wait for the spring to actually wear it so I'm not like boiling in my own jacket. So that is what I got for Christmas this year, um, off my mum and Paul. Anyway, if you'd like to see me do another video about what everyone else got me this Christmas because I think if I kept going, um, I would probably be here all day. Plus, a lot of people, I still have to get my presents off them because I was delayed with work this year and I haven't got off to them and they haven't got over to me because of that. Um, so, if you'd like to see another video based on what other people got me for Christmas, let me know down in the comments. And let me know what you got this Christmas down in the comments. And um, what was your favourite thing that you got off Santi or, you know, your family or something like that. And, yeah, ask me any questions. <laughs> Um, so enjoy and I'll see you all soon. Bye.